make better hockey pitchers. So, you're now shooting hockey pictures, or you want to get hockey pictures. I get a question all the time, how should I shoot in a hockey rink? We know hockey rink lights suck, these aren't always on, or they're not on now, as it's no game going on, but this is the one time where I'll tell you, you can't get away with a shitty lens. You can't cheap out here, you have to follow the, these steps, and you're going to get better pictures. So, I'm holding a 70 to 200 2.8. This is $2,300 or so from Nikon. You can get the older one. You can get an 80 to 200 2.8. You could get the 70 to 200 2.8 VR1. But you could also get a Sigma or a Tamron. But you need to have at least a 70 to 200 to try to shoot the action on your digital cameras. Okay, it has to be a 2.8. You're not going to get away with a crappy lens in this situation. Why is that? Because it's very dark in most rinks. Most of the time you're going to find yourself shooting at 250th of a second. All right? You do not want to go below 250th of a second. So what metering are we going to do in the hockey rink? Well, we're going to shoot in manual. And the reason you're going to shoot in manual is because the lights should be pretty even across the rink. You know, that means it should be as bright as it is in one zone as it is in the other zone. If it's not, it's because they have bad lighting and you have to figure out what to do at that point. But we're going to shoot in manual. We're going to get our settings right to start and then tweak a little bit here and there if things are going to happen. And those things that can happen is if you're shooting in a far corner, the goalie, you're going to get some light fall off where you're at. So you're going to have to bring your shutter speed down a little slower in order to compensate for that light fall off. You're going to want to be at 2.8 the whole time to let in the maximum amount of light. And I hope that makes sense because it's dark. Where are we going to put our ISO? Some of the cameras are going to top out at 1600, like the D3000. You're going to be able to shoot it at 1600. Well, that one does do 3200, but I don't recommend going there right now. But we're going to shoot raw, 1600 ISO. You should get 250th of a second or 320th, depending on the rink. Now, being that we're shooting raw, you can underexpose, meaning you can keep your shutter speed faster than it should be so that you can bring back the file later in Lightroom. So we're basically cheating the system. We know that we need a faster shutter speed to freeze the action. So we're going to freeze the action by cheating the system if we need to, because we know that the raw file is going to allow us to bring it back. So, to recap, Manual settings, no less than 250th of a second. You need a 2.8 lens or better, a 51.4, 51.8. You're just not going to be able to, to get those shots from a distance. So that's the, the basic steps to start. There you go. Jared Pullen.